Hello guys, I just got a very useful tool for the Mercedes Benz and this is the Curator C502 It's a Benz plus OBD multi-system scanner So this is the newest one, I just check on my car, it's really useful It's an all-system diagnostic scanner uh, for the, with the OBD2 diagnostic port and it's a port upgrade with the TF card so um, I'm gonna do a little test for my car and you will see how powerful of this tool so the first one we need to locate the OBD2 scanner so once you finish uh, once you plug in it will be turned on like this one and you can see here this this one is the check engine it's a normal OBD function it plus the Mercedes uh, software and inside here is the setting so this is the keyboard it's uh, very logical and exit and enter and so we can see the languages how many languages is it is supported so basically all included and also so first we can we need to check for the for the engine part this is the OBD part so uh, this is the menu we go in the uh, OBD menu so I have four I have three sub ACU in my car for my I'm testing this with my Mercedes it's a C class so uh, this is the OBD menu it's very normal like uh, if you have a check engine light on and you can use it for read code erase code uh, just very basic and like read data stream is port uh, is port two most data stream like uh, this is for the text mode and then also this uh, if you click on enter if you support the live data like uh, the load value it will be support the graph data showing like this one. So uh, this is very basic function, iron witness, freeze frame, and wrap system, oxygen sensor, and vehicle information. So it's a full OBD function. So what's important is we're going to check for the, we're going to check for this uh, special for a Mercedes function. So so this is uh, designed for all systems scanner. I just check with my car it's very useful so you can see here it's a uh, version 10.1 10.5 it's just launched so uh, let's go for diagnostic and it support two modes one is read, read, read it automatically by win code and the other one is uh, you can manual select it so uh, let's try the manual selected like this is for the for the model of the car so you can turn page with this mark, these two buttons. So it support A, A class, C class, uh, B class, S, SL, and M, ML, and the R series. So if you cannot find it, and you can you know the chassis number, you can go to all model series. And inside here, it will you you can choose the the chassis number directly. Like my car, I know my car is. Uh, it's 205 so uh, I can I can use this option so uh, let's check what what else what else uh, series it is supported so uh, I will I will choose from here this option it's a uh, C class and uh, yeah it is CLA CLK so mine is only the C C class so uh, it's uh, W205 and it's a uh, gasoline so uh, at here I can choose it auto scan once I click on auto scan it will scan all the available systems on my car so I can also choose the control unit and then it support the oil oil reset service so if you are uh, if the oil service light is on after you change your oil, you can just do a oil reset and to turn off the the the, the light. So uh, let's check the control unit. This is 
how much country unit it is supported including the seat and the body traces and the drive the powertrain so I will show you the auto scan so you can see here for my car at my Mercedes the 57 system like the small system electronic system are supported so you see it will scan one by one and at the last page it will give you a sum summary about what's wrong with your what's wrong with your car so it's it's very powerful at the affordable price and because I, I know the scanner in this function is almost like hundreds uh, hundreds hundreds dollars so you can see it also can scan like the lamp the headlamp if you left headlamp or right left hand headlamp and also audio system so you can see my car already uh, there's some reaction I don't know what what does this mean but at least it means it's uh, communicating with the car so this is only the scan it won't damage the car or damage any uh, original settings so the speed is pretty fast for for the for a scanner so let's just wait for uh, the total 57 subsystem uh, is finished electronic parking brake so uh, even the right headlamp if your car have this system so it will be available so different car will have different uh, subsystem that can be supported that can be checked so some of the system if the manufacturer does not allow to be scanned so it will not open please be understood and later we we'll, we might also see some response from uh, from the panel we we'll just check it together so you can see some you say collision prevention assist available so there's some system not available for the for the scanner to enter so it will it will prompt you like that so uh, it's almost finished you can see from here you can choose for diagnostic so left front door uh, there are total 10 pages for you to check if you have some problem on different on different module you can check like uh, like actually before I have a uh, like collision prevention assistant before I just check that and it, it indicates me there's some information you can just use to read codes yeah there's a warning from the control unit there are two there are two codes so uh, I would just use it to uh, erase code so it says the code has been successfully erase return to the function menu and tap recode to verify so uh, I'll just go back to recodes yeah there's no code because I, I always hear some beeping uh, am I so if it's this too you can also read the ECU information that is the like the part number or the hardware the, the version for this uh, for this scan tool uh, for, for this system like for my collision system is made by 2013 and at June, the 1st of June so this will be very uh, important information like you can use it for, for check the serial number of this part and find it for the replacement so that's basically all about this tool and there's still more 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 function for the scan tool need to exploration so if you have any problem just let me know bye